you believe all that stuff with the stonks and GameStop, dude? Dude, stonks are making people millionaires overnight. What do you think the next move is? Haven't you heard? It's uh, it's called 10 mil. Seriously. It's almost like GameStop. Are you serious? I think it's gonna be the next GameStop, genuinely. Like, way up to the moon? Like to the moon, if not Mars. 10 mil. 10 mil, yep. Wow, why does that sound so familiar? I'm not sure, but I've got good faith in it. I don't think you're gonna lose on 10 mil, man. I'm putting money in right now. Are you really? I think my whole life savings is going that well. Yeah, here's 15 large. Make it happen for me, too. All right. Tripling this, at least. That's all I expect. At least. It's a safe investment without a question of a doubt. I won't lose the 10 mil. No, you can't lose 10 mil. Not at all, man. All right, cool. Thanks, bro. Absolutely, bro. Check back in a little bit. A few moments later. Oh no. Oh no. No, not like this. Oh, thankfully I still got some reserves, but oh my gosh. No. 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 Oh. Oh, that's not it either. That's not that's not it. Oh. Oh, it's not up here. Oh, oh man, it's a great day, dude. How are you making out with 10 mil? Uh, it's gone. Yeah, I'm holding to the moon, though. All right, as long as we're good. To the moon, yeah. We'll catch up next time. It's going to the moon, trust me. All right, yeah, I trust you, bro. It's all good. You ready to sort through this stuff? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do that. Cool. never gonna know Counting my millions. guys i got really freaking bad news you see this camera right here it's brand new practically brand new it's an a7c by sony it's a full frame camera it's very expensive it's over a thousand dollars and it's equipped with a two thousand dollar lens this is the camera that i've been using to film my videos for the last month and a half. Like a month or a month and a half ago, I filmed a video where we were saving Amazon vans in a blizzard on a hill. We saved a lot of them and some other innocent bystanders. The camera got soaking wet. I thought it would be fine, but it's not. The lens isn't working, and if you guys have noticed, in some of my uploads lately, the audio quality is terrible. Like really bad, like the audio peaks, and it is so annoying. I'm watching the videos after they're edited, and I can't even stand listening to my own videos, and I know a lot of you are probably experiencing the same things, but you're still hanging around. So I appreciate you, I'm aware of the issue, I've tried to fix the problem with audio by getting a new microphone, but that doesn't seem to have fixed the issue, and now my lens isn't even really registering to the camera. So I'm using Jake's camera, which is an A7R, essentially the big brother to this one with a different microphone and a different lens, which might make it seem a little bit closer to my face. So what's up, what's up, what's up? To see if in fact, my camera's on the fritz. So I apologize to you guys that have been dealing with it, waiting for me to fix the issue. I think I'm almost on top of it. Technical issues, guys, they're no fun. I just wanna film videos working on trucks and shit. Ah, welcome to a beautiful day where all the snow is melting in Pennsylvania. We got this great storm, and now we're dealing with the after effects of a storm, which is just a mess everywhere. We got a really exciting video in store today. We're actually gonna be headed down to the shop and we're gonna be digging into a whole bunch of stuff that's just been collecting, following over 17 builds, to not being personal ones, but trucks that we've worked on for friends, just accumulated parts down at the shop. There's a lot of valuable things down there and I'm excited to get into what it is. It needs to be cleaned out so bad. In other news, guys, Dream Diesel Giveaway number 16 goes live in two days. This video is published on a Tuesday. This coming Thursday, for those of you watching it, is the 11th, and that's when Dream Diesel Giveaway number 16 launches. Just to be blunt, guys, it is a big deal. You're really gonna like the news that's in store for that announcement. I cannot wait to debut and reveal what truck it is. The entries for Dream Diesel Giveaway number 15 are still in the hands of Compliance Sweepstakes Services, our third party sweepstakes administrator. They proctor our sweepstakes so we can do them legally. They're the ones that conduct the drawing. I have nothing to do with that. I've had nothing to do with any of the winners that have been drawn for any of the enthusiast giveaways ever since we started doing giveaways, not with trucks, but with MacBook Pros back in the beginning of 2017. They go through, they audit the entries, they basically check and make sure that everything is fine and dandy. They go into their system, whatever it is that they do they conduct their drawing and then we contact you as the winner we expect a winner's name back in our inbox on the 14th of february it might go over the weekend where you don't see a winner 
posted, but what'll happen here, guys? It's very important. Take note. Compliance Sweepstakes Services will do this drawing, and then they'll call you. They'll say, hey, look, congratulations. You won this truck, 2020 Denali, and $15,000 cash. Do you choose to accept the prize? That is your decision. No pressure either way. Whatever decision you make, hopefully it's the right one. Then what'll happen is I get your name, and we announce it through the company, because at that point in time, you've accepted the prize formally. I like to tell you guys this just so you know what to expect. It's coming, boys, and it could be you next. That's a good test right there. Do you guys hear the wind or not hear the wind? I guess I'll know in post-production. I have no clue right now. I'm fingers crossed that you don't hear it. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to give you a quick update about the shop build. I haven't really been talking about it much lately because of one sad component. There hasn't been much forward progress. There is progress, so it's not like nothing is happening. It's just that we're basically going through the approval process right now with the township. Unfortunately, in the township that I live in, I can't spend my money on my land to build a building for me. I have to get somebody else's approval to do it. Those of you that are like out in Wyoming or parts of Utah, Montana, or even Northern Pennsylvania, Western New York, wherever the case might be in very, very rural areas, you don't have to go through this process. You can just put a building up if you want to do it tomorrow. So we're trying to satisfy those requirements of the area that I live in so we can in fact start the building process with the permits that we need. I'm dying to get this building up, guys. Seriously, I need the room terribly. I'll show you why here when we get down to the shop. I haven't talked about it much. I don't want to come off like I'm complaining, but I'm seriously so out of room and it's painfully inconvenient. Oh man, I'm bummed about my camera. Cold start. <laughs> But drifting up my driveway definitely does ease some of the pain. to the shop guys it's been a minute since we made a video down here it feels good to be back so today we are digging through the collection that's been accumulating in the back up against the wall on these shelves and just all around we like to use the shop for one thing that's bringing trucks right into this bay and making them look really sick and as a result of that a lot of stock parts come off which we are completely in support of but when that happens we kind of just stash everything and i really have no idea what's back here i was thinking about it earlier i haven't touched pretty much any one of those boxes on that specific end rack for over a year or at least since i've moved in which has been about a year's time they have not moved that's incentivized us to clean some things up in these parts not only so we can get organized a little bit more do some housekeeping into the new year but also prepare for when the new building is built that way we only have to move stuff that we need down one shelf at a time and I found this Mopar part right here. Man, this thing brought back the feels. This brings us back to Dream Diesel giveaway number eight. There's a fog light switch that we ended up switching out because we retrofitted fogs into that truck. The sad part about today is our memories going in the trash. Dude, parts off the LML, bro. The feels. They're old. We got some bow ties, two gold, one black. We've got moldings for the fenders. Hold on to them, because who knows when we might do another Chevy build. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Amp research control module. This was Super Duty Sam. Samuel. Like, we got loads of lugs. Mm -hmm. okay, Jeep yeah. lights. Center caps for my race wheels, which I'm never going to put on. Center caps, not the race wheels. Those will be. The race wheels. Caps. Oh, good correction. I stand corrected. I should have been more specific. Stuff. ABS sensors for an LML. Expensive. Yeah, Shit. expensive. That's like 300 bucks right there in your hand. No, this is like 600 bucks. Each sensor is 300. 
So we're gonna tally up an approximate value of all the stuff that's just sitting here on the shelf. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm sure it's gonna be a staggering number. It's gonna make me slightly uncomfortable. Yo, look at all these spike lug nuts. Goodbye, stock lug nuts. I feel bad for the guy that has to lift that trash can up. <laughs> me too, it's gonna be you or I. Yo guys, check this out, we've got a brandy spanking new set of Magoy's upper control arms just chilling here on the shelf. Oh my god. Check out those beauties. Magoy's, what's up, my friends? Yo, did you see We'll have to figure out something to do with those. Sidebar, did you see they just released caps? 3D printed caps to go in here? Yeah. Looks Yo, what? Guys, these are factory injectors from April. And I guess I completely forgot that I even had them. Look, I'm all six injectors chilling. And, uh,. I guess I never returned these, but I was supposed to, so extra G. I'm sorry, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll work on getting these back to you as quick as possible because I don't want to be charged the probably $2,000 plus core charge that you would charge me if I didn't send these back. It's fine, I was just taking my time. Oh. Hey, more lug nuts, who would thought? Not me. Can you imagine? Why not a bad idea to hold on to these fuel? Fuel wheel center caps. Guarantee, guys, we're gonna get rid of some of this stuff because we don't need it right now. I'm gonna see you guys in like a month's video and we're gonna need those parts. What else we got? We got a factory CP3 off of the LLY Duramax. That carries some street value. Dudes, throwback. Oh my God. Finding OG parts right here. Unfortunately, uh, they're not really worth much to me anymore. Good memories though. Oh man. We got like a whole Ford build here, boys. This is a two wheel drive lower valence. Oh, no way. Would that fit on your 2020? Nope, this is for Super Duty Sam style. But that's a valuable part right there. We'll archive that one for a future build. What do you guys say? Would you guys like to see another like 14, uh, 15 generation 6, 7 power stroke? I think it's a little long overdue. I've just been looking for the right one, but we've got this accumulation of parts for Super Duty is in, maybe, maybe in the future. Oh, Dude, making a mess? Shooting out rusty liquid all over the ground in the shop? No, it's orange. That is a good lesson, guys. Empty your compressors. Do not let the compressors sit with air in changing temperature climates because it will result in condensation, hence getting into your compressor motor, hence probably ruining or rusting out your compressor one day. Oh, the thing just had diarrhea explosively all over the vlog. And just think, running a compressor like that, that's all going into your tools. So your tools are in turn getting jacked up, not just the compressor. Yikes. Things are starting to look a little bit more tidy in these parts. It feels better. Huge weight lifted just by getting the shelves clean. I hated the clutter. I am not a fan of it. And I felt like this place has been cluttered for long enough. It was just long overdue to get this place clean. That rack is about to take a crap on itself. So that thing's gonna go. We're gaining some real estate back over there because every inch counts right now. Blows me away that when I moved in here last year, this to me seemed massive. And I saw you guys commenting saying, trust me, dude, it's gonna feel like a lot, but then you're gonna run out of room real quick, and that's exactly what happened. Crazy to think 1,600 square foot coming out of, I think it was only 500 in my last shop, could feel this small. Unbelievable. So now we've made our mess. We've got everything that we wanna throw out. That's all gonna get loaded in the back of the F450. And then we've got everything that we wanna keep. These high box springs are up for grabs. We've got these upper control arms that I'm keeping for a future build. And then we've got the four inch Wicked Customs lift kit sitting in this DeWalt box that still has to get sold. So if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, send me an email to dirtymax at gmail.com and we can get that stuff shipped out as quick as it sells. Eight foot bed coming in clutch. Guys, just a small little teaser as to what warm weather is going to bring. Huh. 
Oh my god, I miss it so much. Imagine the state of the track, boys. It's going to eat. Every day is a great day, but the greatest of days are the days that we can get outside with the windows down. I miss that feeling so much. We are so close. We're at that point in the season where I can almost feel the warmth on my skin. If you guys agree with that statement, man, drop this video a big thumbs up. Warm weather is not all that far away. Feels so much better in here now. Doesn't it just feel organized? I actually feel like we have not much, mind you, but a tiny bit of space back. Yeah, like, not much, but could, a little bit back. We could Every little bit counts right now. We could operate out of here for like another week now. I know. That's about it. We are in very borrowed time. <laughs> we need this new shop worse than anything. There's actually a whole project that I can't bring onto the channel yet because I literally don't have the space for it. It's going to be so sick and I'm so eager and so anxious and pretty impatient when it comes to something like this. And unfortunately, we literally just don't have the space. We're working on it though, boys. We are working on it. And every day is one step in the right direction. And when you're in like a clustered environment, don't you feel as if you just can't get what you're trying to get done because it just feels fogged and messy? That's no mo. And our chariot awaits, oh, boys. Ah, oh, man, not the most exciting content for YouTube today, but an extremely accomplishing day to say the least. Guys, I'm so happy that the shop is finally, finally clean. Wifey is back from work, Little Jack is inside, Corvette looking good, and the weather is oh so tempting. I wanna take it out, but there's still salt and moisture and nastiness all over the road. It just can't happen. I'm going through Corvette withdrawals to say the least, but I guess I have to be patient. I feel like I always have to be patient. Patience and me just don't, it just, they don't work. <laughs> well, not at all. Now guys, I said that I would let you know how much value we found on those shelves and it came out to roughly $2,500. We had about $2,000 worth of core charge injectors. We had a few CP3s, they're worth a few hundred bucks and then we had those upper control arms. So all things considered, there was some money literally sitting on the shelves. We now know what we have, it's cleaned up and we have an idea as to what we're going to be able to use for future builds if and when those trucks appear. Hey dude. Hey, dude. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Guys, I almost forgot. We're going to be posting shorts on my off days. So I post regularly every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. On Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and maybe Saturdays, we'll be posting periodic shorts. And those are little highlight clips about other things that we've got going on. So stay tuned for those. So that's where we're going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you always so much for watching. If you haven't already, tap that thumbs up button, subscribe button, and notification bell down at the bottom of the channel. Mark your calendars. Don't pencil it in. Write it in ink. That Dream Deals Giveaway number 16 goes live on the 11th of February. Hi, <laughs> Boys, we'll see you all in the next one. Oh. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> 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 <laughs>